The book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 28. War to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the heads of the fat berries of them that are overcome by the wine. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall pass down to the earth with the heart. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden under feet. And the glorious beauty, which is on the head of the fat fairy, shall be a fading flower, and thus the hasty fruit before summer, which when he that looks upon it sees, while it is yet in his hand he eats it up. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory, and for a diadem of beauty, and the residue of his people, and for a spirit of judgment to him that seeks the judgment and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. But they also have ailed through wine, and through strong drink are out of the way. The priests and the prophets have ailed through strong drink. They are sold up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They ail in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no press clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk, and drawn from the breast. For precepts must be upon precepts, precept upon precepts, line upon line, line upon line. Here little and there are little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people, to whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they will not hear. But the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here little and there are little, that they might go and fall backward, and be broken and snared and taken. Wherefore hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that to this people which is in Jerusalem. Because ye have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overthrown scars shall pass through, he shall not come out to us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under false fools have we hid ourselves. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a twined stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that lives shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet, and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disnowed, and your argument with hell shall not stand. When the overflow courage shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goes forth, it shall take you. For morning by morning shall it pass over. By day and by night, it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it, and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself in it. For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Pelazim. He shall be wrought as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his acts, his strange acts. Now therefore be ye not mockers, 
lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a consumption, even the time upon the whole earth. Give you here, hear my voice, hearken, and hear my speech. Does the proud plow all dare to sow? Does he open and break the clothes of his ground? When he has been plain the face thereof, does he not cast upon the teachers and scatter the cavalry and cast in the principal wheat and the appointed body and the rear in their presses? For his God does instruct him to discretion and does teach him. For the features are not threshed with a threshing instrument, neither is a cartwheel turned about upon the coming. But the features are beaten out with a staff, and the coming with a rod. Bread corn is bruised, because he will not ever be threshing it, nor break it with the wheel of his corn nor bruise it with his horsemen. This also comes from the Lord of hosts, which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working.